Hi, my name is Vanessa, and welcome to another edition of the ZenPrice Mobile Minute. I'm a systems engineer here at ZenPrice, and the question that I get asked day in and day out from our customers is how do we keep the corporate data separate from the personal data? And today I'm going to talk about that. I have a device over here. Maybe it's out on the internet. The device is going to initiate a request for enrollment to our ZDM server, and the ZDM is going to then enroll the device. This trust is established through certificates. And once this trust has been created, the ZDM server, through our LDAP integration, is going to determine which packages belong to this user and device. For example, we have an Exchange Active Sync uh, package here and a VPN package here. So the concept of containerization is important here because not only are we provisioning the profile, how to talk to the Exchange server, we're also keeping the data at rest, secure on the device. That's in an encrypted package, and that's kept separate from the photos and from Gmail. So let's talk about what happens when a device gets selectively wiped. The ZDM server is going to go out and remove these profiles. Not only is that going to remove the ability to talk to the Exchange server in this case, but it's going to remove all that data at rest, including mail. The personal data is untouched. Gmail, photos, we don't have any knowledge of that, and that's the way we'd like to keep things in order to support a BYOD initiative. But there's one more trick up our sleeve. This certificate can be revoked, and that would ensure that this device not only does it not have this data anymore, but it can't re-enroll in my ZDM and request this data again without re-establishing the trust. And as an administrator, you would hold the keys here. I hope this has been helpful. If you'd like to know more about how this works or ZenPrize in general, attend one of our webinars. We give those twice a week. You can sign up on ZenPrize.com. Thanks.